This is step three in drawing a two-scale diagram of a netball court. In the last screencast we'd finished drawing all of the components of the court and then I'd selected all of the shapes within uh, this drawing. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the format ribbon and then we're going to group and that will convert it into one single shape. Uh, similar to when I did the badminton court example, if I just resized it now it could distort the image. So what I need to do is I need to go to the, well I'm still on the format ribbon where it says size, little drop down box, I need to lock the aspect ratio and then close and what that means is as long as I go for corner now it will keep the proportions correct as I resize uh, my object. So I can resize it so that I can move it around into the right position um, on my page or on my screen. Uh, I could copy and paste this into something else like Word uh, and resize it quite easily uh, either in here or in Word. Uh, if I wanted to change the colours of it for any reason, so let's say uh, I was using this and I wanted to have uh, a background that was, uh, let's say, a dark blue background, uh, you could then come in and I could very easily change the colour of the text to be white or yellow or something like that um, and it would then stand out on the different backgrounds. So that's how we can draw uh, a sports pitch. As long as we know what the dimensions are we can use basic geometric shapes and as long as we learn how to use the align and distribute tools and the rotate tools and how we can use the size here to then create something to scale uh, it's actually quite easy to draw an accurate diagram that we can use.